If you think algebra two and three is easy, then you're in for a surprise. See what happens next on Are You Smarter Than a Tenth Grader? Tonight on Are You Smarter Than a Tenth Grader, we are going to do everything in our power to give away ten extra credit points. Hey kids, are you ready to meet our new classmate? Yay! Please welcome Dr. Hayes! Yeah! Pleasure to meet you, pleasure to meet you. <laughs> on the board you're going to see six topics including GCF, Dots, grouping, sum and difference of cubes, miscellaneous, and mystery. Then you will pick a student to help you compete. All right, Haley, choose your topic. Um, Rachel, what are you good at? I'm good at GCF. All right, I'll take GCF then. GCF? All right, listen carefully. The first question in GCF is worth two points. This is the question. 5C cubed minus 25C squared plus 10C. Hmm. What do 5, negative 25, and 10 all have in common? Oh, I know. They're all divisible by 5. Oh, and look, there's C's in all three. So, 5C cubed divided by 5C is C squared. Negative 25C squared divided by 5C is negative 5C. And 10C divided by 5C is 2. Oh, look, this must be my answer. Rachel has locked in her answer. Is this your final answer? Yes, I'm locking it in. Haley, what would you like to choose for your next topic? I'm going to go with dots. Okay, the question is 9m squared minus 25. Oh no, I don't know how to do this one. If you want, you could take a sneak peek at Rachel's answer. Uh-oh, I think I might have to do that. So. Dots is the difference between two perfect squares. 9m squared and 25 are both perfect squares. So first I'm going to take the square root of 9m squared, which is 3m, and put it in two different parentheses. And then I'm going to take the square root of 25, which is 5, and put it in both parentheses. And then, in, each, in the first parenthesis, I'm going to put a plus, and the second, I'm going to put a minus. And that is the simplified form of 9m squared minus 25 using dots. Haley, would you like to lock in Rachel's answer? Uh, yeah, I think I have to go for that. All right. Lock it in. Yeah! Sorry, Rachel. Your time is up. Good job. Here comes Danielle. What do you want to choose next? Danielle, what are you best at? Grouping. All, All right. right, grouping it is. Okay, the question for grouping worth two points is 4x squared plus 28x minus 3x minus 21. Oh no, I'm a little shaky on my grouping. This is your last chance to steal. Would you like to take a look at Danielle's answer? I think I might have to. Since this is factoring by grouping, you have to separate each two terms by putting parentheses around them. 4 and 28 are both divisible by 4. So you take out a common factor of 4. They both have x's too. So that's, so 4x is the GCF. 4x squared divided by 4x is x. 28x divided by 4x is 7. Negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So you take out a common factor of 7. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. So negative 3 and negative 21 are both divisible by negative 3. Haley, would you like to lock in Danielle's answer? Uh, yeah. I'm locking it in. Okay, Haley, you have six points. Four more, and you get the ten extra credit points. Woohoo! Yeah. What would you like to choose for your next category? Um, I'll go with mystery. All right, mystery it is. Hmm. Well, I can't use grouping here, and I can't use a GCF. 16 and 9 are both square roots. Square root is 16, x to the 6 is 4x cubed, because 4x cubed times 4x cubed equals 16x to the 6. So let's put that through the beginning. Then minus in one and a plus in the other. Hmm. The square root of 9y to the second has to be 3y. So the final answer is, this has to be the final answer. Good job, Danielle! Haley, it looks like you won! 